Good morning, hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday morning. I don't know about you guys, but man, we, we got dumped this morning it comes to our summer rain. It's been wonderful. And I did post on my Instagram page uh, earlier this morning and it's great. It's great to be living in digital right now. We have uh, plenty of water. So anyway, we're gonna have some fun this morning. So this morning I'm gonna show you kind of like affordable way to uh, kind of spice it up your uh, coffee bar, or your, especially if you have Brista Express at home. So this is kind of like my ultimate slash affordable way to you know set up your coffee bar. Uh, instead of, you know, let's give you guys, so let's get going, okay? Let's not waste your time. So here, uh, so here is what my coffee bar is set up at the moment. So obviously, Bravo Brista Express has a conical bar. So if you want to upgrade your like espresso, definitely the F64 is kind of like a uh, pretty much ultimate affordable way to increase your quality in your uh, coffee bar for sure. So this is a 64 millimeter flat burst setup. I've been using it for a couple of weeks and fantastic. Okay, I know niche is kind of like single dose king out there, but niche can be very pricey and it's hard to get it. Okay, I mean. The problem is once they go on sale, man, matter of minutes, they're all sold out. So, so this is kind of like another way to kind of, uh, try something new, okay? Something new as well. And also this is, actually one of my viewers has an Etsy store. This is the temping station, temping block. By the way, there's a lot of great store on Etsy. Comes to like uh, aftermarket rubber parts. They're fantastic. So this is just kind of like block up wood, but you know, uh, nicely stained. You got the stand temping station like there. We have a one st uh, spot for distribution tool. Okay, you don't, you, again, you don't have to get San Anthony or something fancy. Uh, just any distribution tool is fine. I mean, it works pretty good. Bottomless port filter. I think if you are into uh, coffee, coffee is your hobby. Definitely, you know what? I definitely get it. Okay, definitely. I don't want to say must, but definitely increase your kind of uh, espresso game, I guess. Okay. And the follow by, if you can, also this is called Poto Keeper. Uh, you can all your hang on your gears as well. I'm gonna put the link down below too, all of them. And then, so this is my WDT tool, kind of like holder right there. So if you have a 3D print, you can actually print this one out, okay? If you have friends or family members, you can go to like Fingerburst. So this one happened to be the uh, a Discord group called Espresso, uh, that's Aficionado, okay? If you're a member, you can purchase this one for like $5 plus shipping. They're pretty fantastic as well. But again, if you have a 3D print, you can print this one for free. All right. And then what else? So obviously you need to have those in cup. Very nice to have. So this is the Crema coffee products for their dosing cup. And this is the Model B from San Anthony Industry. So this is a 53.3 millimeter uh, uh, temper, okay? So this is also fits in right there. Okay, so what, I mean, pretty much it. Okay, you know what? So all these tools we have, without the good coffee, actually without the fresh coffee beans, doesn't make any difference. So this morning I'm, I'm gonna be using batter bond coffee from Guatemala. That roasted on July 11th. Okay, it's about goodness, about a couple of days ago. So, so it's gonna be really fresh. And then let's find out because we have some a lot of issues with channeling yesterday. Okay, so a lot of channeling yesterday. So, because I was using the coffee beans that are about a month old, but still fresh. Though fresh means I just opened it, you know, a few days before. But still, the roast about a month before. So, uh, so this morning. This is just roasted July 11th and hopefully, okay, hopefully we're gonna get some good shots, okay? By the way, so this, so this is kind of like, kind of like Pullman's version of Ultimate 
uh, coffee bar setup there. So let's break down the price. Obviously, you guys already have Brisa Express at home. The F64, uh, $450 shipped, okay, which means uh, uh, shipping is included uh, from Espresso Outlet. I think uh, what happened was I saw this one on Amazon, but it's not there anymore for some reason. So uh, if you guys are interested, I'm going to put the link down below too. So to make sure to check it out as well, $450, pretty fair price. And then so a uh, bottomless port filter, you can get it from uh, Crema products or you can go to Amazon as well. So you have a lot of options for that. And then San Antonio industry, that's optional, okay? There are great tools, but a little pricey, okay? The block of wood, even this block of wood is pretty cool, okay? It just fits right. I mean, if you don't want to spend like block party, uh, block from San Antonio industry, so this is a block, okay, from San Antonio industry. So this is from Etsy. So. You know what, there is a huge difference in quality, but I mean, if you don't want to spend a lot of money on it, so it, this can be a good option as well. I mean, it looks pretty good too, okay? Looks fit right there. And then what else? Uh, coffee, let's not forget about coffee, okay? Coffee is a star. So by the way, so friends at Battleboard Coffee give you guys 25% off, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the, their link and their, my coupon code, it's gonna be HUN25, so make sure to check it out, okay? So, is, they are micro roasters. Like Good Brothers is also one of my favorite coffee roasters out there. Uh, whenever you order it, they're gonna uh, roast it and they're gonna ship it next day. So they are all fantastic products. I mean, I like to support okay smaller companies. So, but so let, let's pull the shot. Let's find out what else. Uh, pretty much comes to coffee canisters. Fellow Atmos is one of my favorite so far. I try all of them. I try Encom, Airscape is nice, but something about, okay, something about whenever you press that button on the middle, hope you guys can hear it, okay, kind of like, kind of lets you know that the vacuum is released, so same time twisting action to create the vacuum as well, so again, it's fun to use, fun to use, by the way, it's a Finally, I got, uh, I got you guys a, a discount code on this one, okay? If you go to fellow products, uh, use a Hoon 10. I'm going to put the link down below as well. Hoon 10, you get a 10% off. So I'm trying to showcase the product that good and also they offer you guys discounts as well. So because you know, sometimes I love the products like San Antonio Industry. The block party is amazing. But... Um, I got, I've, I convinced them to give us the coupon code well, a couple months ago for the Father's Day for like 20% off. Very limited time. So even though I like the products, but it's not cheap, okay? So I, th I think that's why, I mean, I like to reach out to the company that, you know, offer you guys, I mean, give you guys, you know, discount code, okay? So make sure 10%, that's kind of like tax. So you can save your some tax on it because tax is usually 8% anyway. So save some, but that's still better than nothing. So obviously you can get it from the fellow website or I think you can get it from Amazon as well. So I'm going to put the link down below to both of them. But again, coffee is the key. Okay. Make sure you get a good coffee. And I mean, if you can support your local roasters, uh, if you don't have a local roasters out there, you know, some people you don't have access to local roaster, uh, try the battle bone. 25% can go wrong with it. What else I can talk about? You know, I think enough. Oh, by the way, so this, I don't get any commission to promote these products, but I do get a, a tiny commission from Amazon. And uh, I think a fellow I'm start with is called Hun uh, 10. Uh, so I think I'm part of their affiliate program. So I get a little bit of commission as well. So. Uh, by the way, so far we raised uh, $420 so far for our next coffee machine fund. So getting close, okay, getting, did I say getting close? It's a long way to go. Uh, I'm looking at dual boiler machine, uh, uh, rotary pump, PDI. So I'm looking at around $3,000 range there. So I'm trying to raise about at least half of that, okay. And the other half, I'm going to, you know, make up the rest. So hopefully by end of year, okay, it could be our Christmas or holiday gifts for this channel. So we'll see, okay? 
But meantime, uh, enough talking and let's make some coffee. So let, I'm going to take a, a couple different shots. I'm going to take, uh, so let's do one shot from built-in grinder and then let's play with uh, DF64, okay? So I already measured that 19 gram here. By the way, I know some people likes to use a single dose option on your Bravo Brista Express. But you know, uh, I do have the single dose mod on my Brista Pro. So hold on, so you know what? Uh, if you're just new to the channel this morning, let me show you how I do it with a single dose, uh, single dose with a hopper, okay? I put 19 gram in. And then, And I like to tap it like so, okay? Whenever tap it, you're going to create a vacuum, kind of like pump action. So we put 19 in, 19.3 gram out, okay, which means about 0.2 gram from yesterday, okay? So is that perfect single dose option? No, but close, yes. So you don't have to spend money on single dose mod. But again, single dose mod is helps. Uh, but it's, it's, it's not the perfect setup either, but anyway, I'm going to shout out to Dane for the super sticker. Okay, I'm just going to flush my coffee beans here. I'm not in the coffee beans, I'm poor filter. Okay, I'm just going to wipe it clean. By the way, it's still raining outside in Tucson, so it's this perfect day for cup of coffee here. Okay. I don't usually go directly go this because it gets messy. So I've been using my 3D do uh, dosing funnel. Just like, so I'm just flip it over, okay, shake it. So since we are using the built-in grinder, let's use the WDT method, okay. So this is my homemade puck rig as well as a full needle, uh, acupuncture needle. I'm just gonna declump it, okay like so. Just take your time. But again, if you're in a hurry, you know, just for the shot, but especially on weekends and rainy day like this, it is nice to see, you know, good looking shot, okay? So, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tap it like so. That's it. You know, so this is 19.3 uh, 19 gram. What I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm just gonna toss it a little bit, okay? So kind of like level like this. And then use your distribution tool. It doesn't have to be San Antonio, just, you know, use your favorite uh, temping tool. And then give it a quick temp. Okay, so let's pull the shot here. I have a feeling it's gonna be good. Okay, I have a feeling it's gonna be a good shot. Okay, I'm just going to, we're gonna do one to two ratio. I'm gonna do the, uh, 19 gram in, around like 40 gram out. Okay, let's start time it uh, when I uh, press the button. Yeah. Hold on, I'm just gonna. Get my little flashlight so you guys can see it. Let's try this. Shot looks really good. No channeling much. Beautiful crema. About 30, here we go. About 27 seconds. Looks pretty good, okay, I have to say. About 28 seconds. 
I bet you I can uh, slightly adjust my grinder size to even slower, but overall, yeah, there's no, a lot of channeling there as well. Okay, I like it. Okay, so what's the difference between yesterday and today? Only thing difference is the, just the freshness of, of the coffee beans. Okay. Um, if you have a lot of channeling at home, uh, if your coffee beans are old, you know what, you might want to you know, replace your, not to replace, but you might want to try a freshly roasted coffee. So what's freshly roasted coffee means, which means coffee like this, okay? They roasted about seven days ago, okay? Or five days ago, it's so seven days ago. So between like, between seven and like 21 days, is that kind of like optimal to drink your coffee? Uh, there's a different way to store your coffee. Uh, you can freeze it. I know James Hoffman did a wonderful job on uh, how to store your coffee beans, but yeah. Uh, you know what? I mean, most of us, I mean, I just want a coffee, okay? I mean, I only use one bag at a time, so. Because I know some people are out there use a couple bags open. That's why having, you know, vacuum seal or some kind of uh, good canister works, okay? I'm just going to taste this. I'm just going to stir it. Cheers. Okay. Not bad. Okay. Okay. So this time, let's use the DF64. By the way, I'm going to big shout out to Linda. Uh, Linda just sent me the, it's called anti-popcorn. Okay. Uh, anti-popcorn for DF64. So, uh, which means it's not popcorning much because sometimes you kind of like, you know, back and forth all over. So this one does help. And uh, comes to, I set a number 15 for grinder setting. I hope that works. Okay, so let's try one more time. Oh, by the way, if you haven't liked these videos, make sure to press like. It's going to help me with my ranking as well. Okay. I'm just... I'm just going to clean up my station. By the way, so this is a hack I did, okay? Because the DF64, the, the shoot to the cup was pretty lengthy. So I've been using this extra uh, cup here, and this is my old extra dosing cup. And they're uh, kind of close to the gap. I know CY made an adapter for that. So, I mean, if you guys have at home or 3D print at home, make sure go to Thingiverse and download one of those uh, CY's, the adapter. That works pretty good, according to CY. That's a grinder setting there. You know what, so let's find out about the dosing. Yeah, what's the retention rate like, this one. So again, we're gonna do 19 gram. We already measured that 19 gram here. I'm just gonna open it up. Okay, hold on, just do one hand action here okay just make sure exactly 19 okay i'm just gonna put it up Not perfect, but it works pretty good. So we got 19 in and... We have 19 in, 18.8 gram out. So again, it's about 0.2 gram retains. So it's not a big deal, okay? 0.2 gram is about maybe one beans perhaps that's it so overall works fantastic there 
I mean, I think a niche is slightly better. Uh, I think a niche, I get about what? 0.1 gram difference or so it's pretty much the same comes the retention rate niche and df64 they're kind of like neck and neck and then obviously if you don't do the single dose type of kind of method for brisa express is about i say about point okay thing is always we have to think about the old beans from yesterday so but close enough okay so this one i'm just going to declump I mean, DF64 is pretty fluffy anyway. The ideal is you don't go do like direct dosing. Okay, you, you want to do direct dose. Okay, so I'm just going to... Okay, I'm just going to tap. I'm just going to quick distribute. Give it a good temp, okay? Temping pressure we talk about all the time. Just be consistent, okay? Doesn't matter. It's, can be you know 10 pounds or 15 pounds as long as you're consistent all the time you're fine okay so i'm gonna let's put i'm gonna heat up my shot glass here oops i'm making a little mess this morning You know, it'd be funny if I get a more channeling on this one, but we'll see. I'm just going to do the same as the last time. I'm going to start time when I start the button. Okay, so let's see here. Let's set up my... Here we go. Look at that, goodness. Hold on. Boys, a lot of crema. That's all crema there. A lot more than uh, Brista Express, the built-in grinder. But I see a lot of channeling too, so. You know what, let's do one more time. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but goodness. I, I wanna do one more. Okay, the shot was too fast too. Beautiful though, beautiful shot. Okay, fantastic shots, but yeah. I think we need to change the grinder setting. I'm, I'm still gonna use a 19 gram. Let's make a finer. So let's go maybe 12, 13, okay. Hopefully we're gonna dial in just right. By the way, so DF64 is brand new, brand new burst set, okay. They're brand spanking new, so you have to season it some, somehow, which means you have to break it in process. Okay, you got to break it in. So it may take a couple months maybe because everything is extremely sharp there. So we're sitting. Okay, let's do one more shot, uh, one more time and see what kind of shot we're going to get. Cheers. Wow, it's good. It's, it's, I bet you it's gonna be great, even great for like milk-based drink. But shot is so much, bring out all the nuttiness. So the texture is wonderful, it has a like full body texture. Yeah, you know what, let, let's do one more. I mean, that's why the uh, difference between conical and flapper, the way it cuts it, I think the flapper bring us a lot more, the kind of like earthy tones is, Again, if you, you guys like coffee, coffee flavor, okay, I think I recommend the flat burst setup. And if you guys like kind of like hot tea type of coffee, very fruity and, you know, kind of flower, I think I go with the conical burr. I uh, like the niche. So uh, let's do one more, okay? You know what? I, I think I want to be, I want to redeem myself here. Okay. I'm, by the way, I got my computer set up right now, so I'm looking at your questions. 
I, I know you guys are chit chatting this morning. That's great. Okay. So by the way, I'm using the Bravo. Uh, I'm using the filter basket from Amazon, not the stock. So filter basket from Amazon. It's a lot. What? Eight, fifteen, sixteen dollars, or eighteen to twenty gram. The Bravo is more like sixteen to eighteen gram baskets. I'm not a big fan of it, but with sixteen to eighteen. I think it works great. Okay. Okay, so let's do one more. So we're gonna do another 19 gram here. All right. So let's do 19. Okay. So I got eight, uh, let's see here. I got 19.1 gram, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. So earlier, I, I was using the anti-popcorn. I'm just gonna remove it for now. I'm just gonna show you guys without the anti-popcorn, what happens, okay? I'm just gonna pop it in. Okay, here we go. Just gonna put the grinds there. Okay. You know what? I don't know. Some reason I like I like without the uh, anti popcorn thing because sometimes it gets stuck in the hole. It doesn't go straight down. So yeah, let me know, uh, Linda. Let me know, and I know CY and I know a whole bunch of friends has this. Let me know on your thoughts on this. Okay, anti popcorn. I got 19.1 gram in, I got 19.1 gram out, so. Yeah, so, yeah, so let me know on uh, thoughts on this anti-popcorning because I think as you guys saw earlier, it, it doesn't go down smoothly, so I bet you, I wonder, okay, I wonder. Let me know in the, uh, let me know in the chat room as well. But again, uh, both works great, okay. I know CY is on, so CY, do you have any issues with Beans going down here, so. Okay, so let's finish making another shot. Okay, last one was a lot of channeling. I, I don't want to say a lot, but still having a channeling with uh, DF64, so. Okay, let's see here. I'm just gonna do one more time. I'm just gonna do another WDT here. Okay. Like the day mentioned about the RDT method. You know, RDT method works good. Okay. RDT means Ross droplet technique. Uh, some people use put some uh, water on your finger and just go through your coffee beans. I know some people like to you know spritz, but you know what? I'm not a big fan of it. Okay. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not a big fan of RDT. I'm just gonna distribute. Give it a quick tamp. Okay, let's pull the shot here. So this is our second shot where we adjust the grinder size. Where's some cup? I'm just gonna heat up my cup. By the way, if you guys are thinking about setting up your coffee bar, make sure get some good cups, okay? So this one happened to be the not neutral cups. Yeah, just get the cups that fits your drink size. Because I know some people out there use, still using big mug like this. If you are setting up your coffee bar, make sure you get the right size cups. All right, so let's get going. Okay. We are going to do the same as last time. I 
So I'm gonna start pull those shot. Why not see the first? When I start the button, okay, here we go. All right, let's go. Let's see. Hopefully, this is one last time. You're gonna get some good shots this time here. Okay, this is much, much better. Okay, let me show you guys the bar pressure here. We are at around maybe one o'clock range. We got 42 gram at 33 seconds. Shot looks great. I think this is a shot we are looking for. Look at that guys. Look at this rich and dark crema. That one looked like espresso. I mean, that looks good. Okay, so let's find out what's the taste like. Okay, I mean, I see some copper channeling there, there's, but it's a lot better than last two shots there. Okay, it's all about the beans, folks. Okay, just make sure you get a freshly roast coffee. Cheers. Wow, even better. Okay, really smooth. This is wonderful if you make like milk-based drink, even Americano. Again, okay, uh, so this one, kind of like coffee, coffee flavor. And uh, I know, and if it's some, if again, if you guys like the, something, something fruity, uh, go with like Ethiopia is fantastic. Obviously, Geisha is also great. Uh, Costa Rica makes really fruity coffee as well. Did I say fruity coffee? It's not fruity coffee, but you know, bright, okay? Has a lot of a lot more acidity. So it's kind of like brighter taste there. Again, it's all depending on what you guys like. So if you are new to the espresso game, I highly recommend try out the coffee roasters, okay? Try out the local coffee roasters if you don't have it. I'm gonna uh, link down below with the Butterbone Coffee with their coupon code as well. 25% off is worth trying. And also I have a 27% off from Good Brothers Coffee too. So I mean, hope, and again, we have a lot of options now. Okay, it's not like when I started making coffee three years ago, at the time, there's no tools. There's no tools for 54 millimeter uh, port filter. But now people like CY making tons of 3D prints in Singapore. Now we have so many people making tools and gadgets. Having a bribery is not that bad any anymore, okay? You have a lot more options, even tools, you know? So you're gonna have some fun with it. You're gonna have some fun with even this entry level coffee machine as well. Again, I hope you, uh, you guys like this video and uh, here, any, hold on. So I'm looking at all your questions right now. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Hey, see why, hold on, you see, is a CY has 83 millimeter burst set? I don't know. Maybe. CY, are you doing that today? Uh, I'm, I'm trying to looking at the uh, question here. CY got an 83 millimeter flat burst set, a uh, coffee grinder. So love to see it. Uh, anyway, so if you have, if not, if you guys are not following my Instagram, make sure follow me on my Instagram page. You know what, uh, I'm gonna, CY, can you join me for Instagram right now? So I'm gonna have CY show us his new bird, uh, new coffee grinder. So uh, again, follow me on Instagram. I do a lot of live streaming through, I do a lot of live streaming here, but I do a lot of live streaming from Instagram. So you're gonna have some fun with it. I do a lot of interviews and behind the scenes stuff is fun. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna jump into Instagram right now and uh, hopefully CY can show us his uh, 83 millimeter flapper, a uh, coffee grinder. Anyway, I, I hope you guys liked this video and I'm gonna see you guys next time.